Good evening, RPMA. This is your beloved Messiah. And this is the WWE pay-per-view review for WWE Rebellion. WWE Rebellion started our path to SummerSlam. Our next pay-per-view is ECW Heat Wave 2014, which will feature the debut of the ECW Undisputed Championship. We're going to be merging the ECW World Heavyweight Champion and the ECW Champion. Now, on to the review itself. Overall, this was a pretty good pay-per-view. So, Let's start off with the first match. The first match was Alexis Dominique Wilson taking on Seth Believe in Me Rollins for the WWE Cruiserweight Championship. And the winner was Alexis Dominique Wilson because her opponent failed to show. So, your new Cruiserweight Champion is Alexis Wilson, and it gets one star. I say that for later. Now, match number two featured two corporation members one on one. This match was. Eddie Cortez versus Daniel Bavania for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. This got three stars. The winner of this match was Daniel Bavagna. Now, in the beginning of this match, Eddie Cortez had basically sole advantage of this match. He dominated this entire match up until the ending. That one mistake Eddie made costed him the title. And Daniel Bavagna, being the smart veteran that he is, countered it and hit the flying elbow drop and got one, two, three. Three stars, new Continental Champion. What is going to be next for Daniel Bavagna? The Intercontinental Champion. Match number three featured Larissa Eunice and Lexi Love. This was for the TNA Knockout Championship. This was a four star match. It would have had five stars if there was a pinfall victory. But Epic storylining, epic storytelling by these two. Lexi Love had Larissa down for the count. One, two, then the lights go out. When the lights went out, all you heard was a scream. When the lights went back on, Larissa, Lexi Love was nowhere to be found. So... Where is Lexi Love? And why was Lexi kidnapped? More to be seen, hopefully sometime this week. This is a pretty, pretty good storyline so far. So four stars. I don't even know if the Knockout Championship was decided because of this. So to me, it's still vacant. Hmm. Now, the next match was Mr. J, and he took on Ben Matthews for the WWE European Championship. This again was another four-star match. The winner of this match was Mr. J. Now. Mr. J 
did what Mr. J always does. He outthought his opponent. He made sure that he he made sure that Ben wasn't gonna win this one. So Mr. J proving how smart he is defeated Ben Matthews and is the new WWE European champion. Also, him and Chris Johnson, well, more about them later. The next match was Mr. J versus Alexis Wilson. Mr. J pulling out another good match. This match was a four-star match. It would have been five stars if it had been longer. But this was a pretty good match. Pretty good match. Alexis Wilson came out with the upset victory with the one, two, three, and she is still your WWE United States Champion. What's going to happen for her at SummerSlam? Only time will tell. On to co-main event numero uno, Mr. J versus Chris Johnston for the RPMA World Heavyweight Championship. This was a five-star match. The winner was CJ, Chris Johnston. Now, Chris Johnston's been on roll lately. So, we pretty much knew that Chris Johnston was probably going to walk out the winner, being that he was in the corporation, until after the match. After the match, 